In this video, we've got a whole selection of ammonite nodules that we're going to be cracking open. Hopefully they will all contain an ammonite fossil, but as with our previous videos, not every rock will contain a fossil. Let's get straight into it and open up the first one. Me and Shay have been out fossil hunting quite a lot to look for all sorts of lovely specimens. Throughout the video, see if you can identify which nodule might contain a fossil and which one will be completely empty. Needless to say, it's always fun looking for fossils. However, quite often, we don't find much at all. Let's open the first rock. Let's box them open. Better split nice. Let's hope there's something inside. Empty. Ah. A little bit of pie right there and a few calcite veins, but no fossil. Should we try another? Yeah. Another, another empty, empty one. one. We thought there would be, but you have to double check. The next nodule we're opening is this quite heavily pirateized, fresh limestone nodule. It looks like there should be a specimen inside, however I'm not 100% certain. It's very difficult to identify where to put my chisel for this one. Normally I quite like to use the chisel, but using the hammer on its own is probably the best option for this type of rock. Wow, and straight away, we can already see the edge of a fossil. Definitely know now that there is an ammonite inside. It's looking like a Hildoceros ammonite. Completely split through now. Let's see if anything nice is hiding inside. Looks like it should be pretty awesome. Wow. That is fantastic. When rocks open like that, they completely blow your expectations. Such a good feeling. I really like how it's so pirateized as well, both the nodule and the specimen itself. If you want to see the full video where we open all of these, Ammonites as well as some others, make sure to check it out on our YouTube channel. Shay's going to open up the next one. This looks like a nice big nodule to crack. Let's hope there's one inside. Might have to work my way around the nodule. Nothing just yet. Oh. oh! There's an ammonite just starting to show. Let's wow. hope it splits nice. It's getting a lot more tense now. <laughs> So close. <laughs> Cracking everywhere we don't want it to. Let's see. <laughs> Still hasn't cracked. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. There we go. I think that's as good as we're going to get it. We're going to have to, going to, have to remove the rest of the rock at home. Yeah, we took a few risks there, but it looks like it was worth it. <laughs> Very nice. Nice and prioritised there. Some absolutely outstanding details on the outer worlds that are already showing of this ammonite. It's going to be really satisfying to watch my dad prepare the rest of this fossil when we get round to it. What a lovely find. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. We still have another ammonite to open, which is potentially one of the best of this video. At the end of the video, I've got some lovely scenery shots from a storm when I was out fossil hunting. Let's open up the next one. Let's start with the smallest one. Nice little semi salata. It's really cute. It goes back together perfectly as well. That's the last ammonite nodule that we will be opening today. Finished off with an absolutely beautiful, perfect small specimen. Looks lovely. Every single nodule here contains an ammonite fossil. They range from large to small ammonites and also different species. The majority of nodules here will open up really well. You can never guarantee which ones will, however these have the best chance. If you'd like a selection of ammonites to open up yourself at home, please contact us on our Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils. And if you do get some, I really hope you enjoy opening them and thanks in advance for supporting what we do. And there we have it. That's all of the nodules that me and Shay are opening in today's video. If you do decide to get some nodules to open up yourself at home, I really hope you enjoy opening them up. I'll play some scenery clips just to round off the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. The scenery clips at the end of this video are from a storm when I was out fossil hunting. I've actually got an entire YouTube video based purely on this storm, but here's a couple of clips from it. Make sure to watch the full video if you haven't already. And do let me know in the comments if you like this type of video, the scenery clips that is. And I'll keep including scenery clips like this at the end of our videos and can also make some entire videos purely based on this type of footage if people are interested. Thanks for the feedback, really helps support the channel. I'll keep making content that people enjoy watching.